even though there are ambulances that could have carried them mm -hmm. to the hospital yeah. and provided some form of health care and first aid or emergency treatments yeah. before getting there. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. are we yes. doing? Yeah. Our lifestyle, if you take a look at it, we are more um, reactive than proactive. Mm. And so it just, just look at the whole, they want to have a whole cere a ceremony for it first. Mm. That's going to take a lot mm. more cost mm. as well. In fact, the Minister for exactly. Special Initiatives and the who's uh, purview the one million one constituency says yeah. it will be this reason in 2020 the, the 2020. minister the so minister is saying we will wait we will wait, wait for the rest to come in we don't so know we'll how long wait we'll for have deaths to wait to yeah. okay well, exactly we'll wait for my people point. to give birth so in the street yeah yes and but we need the ambulances that's really all that is yes you so know yesterday yesterday i didn't want to do a back and forth with the minister because you didn't you know, want to no i didn't want to okay. because number one um, I was emceeing an event, yeah. and then he yeah, had come to make to. a speech on behalf of the vice president, and then I sneaked this in because Mr. Kofiada also made a request about the airport needing a full clinic. So yeah. a health We don't have a shelter. clinic at the airport. No, no, they, airport. they have a clinic, okay, uh -huh. but they don't have a health post. He wanted a health okay, post, a okay. bigger one. Mm. Uh, and so I said, well, I sneaked it in as well. And he, I, I, was, I, was, I was happy that he responded to me. But I didn't want to do a back and forth with him, but questions that came to me immediately when he said that was, Okay, I find it strange and, and hard to follow his logic. Because if in the matter of free SHS, we didn't have the full complement of classrooms, textbooks, yeah, but we still dormitories went and ahead. everything. Exactly. And we still went ahead because we said uh, we needed to do it because it was important. If in the matter of the new curriculum, we couldn't wait for the basic schools, we couldn't wait for the textbooks, and we had to use starter packs to get the teachers to push to them, push, yeah. and which is why now we can't even have end of term exam because there's no standard mm. to measure the kids by. Now, in the matter of health, when people are actually dying on a daily yeah. basis, and there's a lot of evidence. The minister says, hold on, we will get the full complement and we'll start distributing. I found his logic very difficult to follow. Yeah. And then I found the logic of him saying that, where do we distribute first? He mentioned a few places that, oh, well, do we take it to who or do we take it to... And I found that logic very difficult to follow. Because areas that the as most. Minister for Health, you should and know even which as areas. Minister yeah. for Special Initiatives, you should have data. If we had a proper emergency response system, you should have data to point you that Kolebu needs it ASAP. Exactly. Doma needs it as, as, as early as yesterday. Yeah. So if you can't tell me that, then we probably have, have a very huge issue to be scared about, about emergency response. Hmm. Now, he mentioned that we have 275 constituencies, mm. which so technically we're purchasing one, one for one each constituency. One constituency. Yeah. But what we have ordered extra. is 307. Yeah. That means yeah. we have 30 extra. Yeah. So there certainly should have been a rationale behind getting 30, 30 extra, extra ambulances. What is that rationale? We need to be told. Where is that 30 going? Because if the answer is that, oh, we, we don't know which constituencies to start with, then you should be able to also tell me what went into the thinking hmm. to get you 307, which yeah. gives us 30 more ambulances. I'm so there are a lot more answers than the, there are a lot more questions the than, answers, the, than, the, yeah, than, than answers there are answers. Provided. And I think that we need to look. It is important, and we'll make this point strongly again. Hmm. It is important that we release the ambulances. And now we're getting excuses that we're now training drivers oh, and blah, blah, geez. blah, blah, blah. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're anyway. now training drivers <laughs> to ride the ambulance. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is certainly not right. Because in any serious country where they take emergency response very, very, very seriously, serious, yeah. they won't be saying these things. And I said it before, look, if we want a ceremony for it, we can go around the country where we are distributing it, take shots, put it together in a documentary, and, and show it on, on TV. TV. We will watch and know that you, this is what you have done. In any case, even if we give every district five ambulances in this country, it is it's nothing really not, to applaud yeah, about. It's still not enough. What is yeah. the population of every single district in this country? So that if we give one constituency, which sometimes could have two in it. in it. We say we are looking for applause. As a country of 30 million people, we presently have only 51, 51 ambulances. People are dying in taxis every day. And now we have been able to procure 307. We have 98 sitting at the forecourt, and we say we're yeah, waiting we for the rest to come yeah. in. Really, really, if you lose your relation, 
or you lose your family or your father or your mother or your child through a situation that could have been prevented by the use of the ambulances, would you be happy with this response? Share your thoughts with us. Yeah. 020 21